Jesus Christ. Fill our hearts with the light of your spirit, so that by following you on your final journey, we may come to know the price of our redemption and become worthy of a share in the fruits of your passion, death, and resurrection. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, o Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by, by your, your holy, holy cross, cross you, you have, have redeemed, redeemed the, the world. world. Consider how Jesus Christ, after being scourged and crowned with thorns, was unjustly condemned by Pilate to die on the cross. Christ speaks. In Pilate's hands, my other self, I see my father's will. Though Pilate is unjust, he is the lawful governor, and he has power over me. And so the Son of God obeys. If I can bow to Pilate's rule, because this is my father's will, can you refuse obedience to those whom I place over you? My Jesus, Lord, obedience costs you your life. For me, it costs an act of will, no more. And yet how hard it is for me to bend. Remove the blindness from my eyes, that I may see that it is you whom I obey in all who govern me. Lord, it is you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. The second station. Jesus carries his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by, by your, your holy, holy cross, cross you, you have, have redeemed, redeemed the, the world. world. Consider Jesus as he walked this road with the cross on his shoulders, thinking of us and offering to his Father in our behalf the death he was about to suffer. Christ speaks. This cross, this chunk of tree, is what my Father chose for me. The crosses you must bear are largely products of your daily life, and yet my Father chose them too for you. Receive them from his hands. Take heart, my other self. I will not let your burdens grow one ounce too heavy for your strength. This cross, this chunk of tree, is what my father chose for me. The crosses you must bear are largely products of your daily life. And yet, 
My father chose them too for you. Receive them from his hands. Take heart, my other self. I will not let your burdens grow one ounce too heavy for your strength. My Jesus Lord, I take my daily cross. I welcome the monotony that often marks my day. Discomforts of all kinds, the summer's heat, the winter's cold, my disappointments, tensions, setbacks, cares. Remind me often that in carrying my cross, I carry yours with you. And though I bear a silver only of your cross, you carry all of mine except a silver in return. Hail Mary, full Lord of grace, grace, the Lord, Lord is with thee. thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, women, and, and blessed, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, God pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. The third station. Jesus falls for the first time. We adore you, Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider the first fall of Jesus, loss of blood from the scourging and crowning with thorns, had so weakened him that he could hardly walk, and yet he had to carry that great load upon his shoulders. As the soldier struck him cruelly, he fell several times under the heavy cross. Christ speaks. The God who made the universe and holds it in existence by his will alone becomes a man too weak to bear a piece of timber's weight. How human in his weakness is the Son of God. My Father willed it thus. I could not be your model otherwise. If you would be my other self, you also must accept without complaint your human frailties. Lord Jesus, how can I refuse? I willingly accept my weaknesses, my irritations and my moods, my headaches and fatigue, all my defects of body, mind and soul. Because they are your will for me, these handicaps of my humanity, I gladly suffer them. Make me content with all my discontents, but give me strength to struggle after you. Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. The fourth station. Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by, by your holy cross, cross you, you have redeemed, redeemed the world. world. Consider how the son met his mother on his way to Calvary. Jesus and Mary gazed at each other, and their looks became as so many arrows to wound those hearts 
which loved each other so tenderly. Christ speaks. My mother sees me whipped. She sees me kicked and driven like a beast. She counts my every wound. But though her soul cries out in agony, no protest or complaint escapes her lips or even enters her thoughts. She shares my martyrdom, and I share hers. We hide no pain, no sorrow from each other's eyes. This is my Father's will. My Jesus Lord, I know what you are telling me. To watch the pain of those we love is harder than to bear our own. To carry my cross after you, I too must stand and watch the sufferings of my dear ones, the heartaches, thicknesses and grief of those I love. And I must let them watch mine too. I do believe, for those who love you, all things work together unto good. Hail Mary, full of grace, the the Lord Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The fifth station. Simon of Cyrene helps to carry the cross of our Lord. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how weak and weary Jesus was. At each step he was at the point of expiring. Fearing that he would die on the way when they wished him to die the infamous death of the cross, they forced Simon of Cyrene to help carry the cross after our Lord. Christ speaks. My strength is gone. I can no longer bear the cross alone. And so the legionaries make Simon give me aid. This Simon is like you, my other self. Give me your strength. Each time you lift some burden from another's back, you lift as with your very hand the cross awful weight that crushes me. Lord, make me realize that every time I wipe a dish, Pick up an object of the floor, assist a child in some small task, or give another preference in traffic or the store. Each time I feed the hungry, clothe the naked, teach the ignorant, or lend my hand in any way, it matters not to whom. My name is Simon. And the kindness I extend to them I really give to you. Hail Mary, full of grace, of grace the, the Lord, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, women and, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. The sixth station. Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, Christ, and we praise you. 
begun by the Holy Cross, we have redeemed the world. Christ speaks. Can you be brave enough, my other self, to wipe my bloody face? Where is my face, you ask? At home, whenever eyes fill up with tears, at work when tensions rise, on playgrounds, in the slums, the courts, the hospitals, the jails. Wherever suffering exists, my face is there. And there I look for you to wipe away my blood and tears. Lord, what you ask is hard. It calls for courage and self-sacrifice, and I am weak. Please give me strength. Don't let me run away because of fear. Lord, live in me, and act in me, and love in me, and not in me alone, in all of us, so that we may reveal no more your bloody but your glorious face on earth. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The seventh station. And Jesus falls for the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how the second fall of Jesus under his cross renews the pain in all the wounds of the head and members of our afflicted Lord. Christ speaks. This seventh step, my other self, is one that tests your will. From this fall learn to persevere in doing good. The time will come when all your efforts seem to fail and you will think, I can't go on. Then turn to me, my heavy laden one, and I will give you rest. Trust me and carry on. Give me your courage, Lord. When failure presses heavily on me and I am desolate, stretch out your hand to lift me up. I know I must not cease, but persevere in doing good. But help me, Lord. Alone there is nothing I can do. With you, I can do anything you ask. Our oh, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. The eighth station. Jesus meets the weeping women. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your holy, holy cross, cross you have redeemed the world. world. Consider how the women wept with compassion, seeing Jesus so distressed and dripping with blood as he walked along. Jesus said to them, Weep not so much for me, but rather for your children. 
Christ speaks. How often had I longed to take the children of Jerusalem and gather them to me, but they refused. But now these women wept for me, and my heart mourns for them, mourns for their sorrows that will come. I comfort those who seek to solace me. How gentle can you be, my other self? How kind! My Jesus, your compassion, in your passion, is beyond compare. Lord, teach me. Help me learn when I would snap at those who hurt me with their ridicule, those who misunderstand or hinder me with some misguided helpfulness, those who in intrude upon my privacy, then help me curb my tongue. My gentleness become my cloak. Lord, make me kind like you. Hail Mary, full of grace, grace the, the Lord, Lord is with thee. thee. Blessed Red art thou amongst women, women. and blessed, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Ninth Station Jesus Falls for the Third Time We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by, by your holy, holy cross, cross you have redeemed, have redeemed the, world. the world. Consider how Jesus fell for the third time. He was extremely weak, and the cruelty of his executioners was excessive. They tried to hasten his steps, though he hardly had strength to move. Christ speaks. Completely drained of strength, I lie, collapsed upon the cobblestones. My body cannot move. No blows, no kicks can rouse it up. And yet my will is mine, and so is yours. Know this, my other self, your body may be broken, but no force on earth and none in hell can take away your will. Your will is yours. My Lord, I see you take a moment's rest, then rise and stagger on. So I can do, because my will is mine. When all my strength is gone, and guilt and self-reproach press me to earth, and seem to hold me fast, protect me from the sin of Judas, save me from despair. Lord, never let me feel that any sin of mine is greater than your love. No matter what my past has been, I can begin anew. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. The Tenth Station Jesus is stripped of his clothes. We adore you, Christ, and we praise you. 
because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how Jesus was violently stripped of his clothes by his executioners. The inner garments adhered to his lacerated flesh, and the soldiers tore them off so roughly that the skin came with them. Have pity for your Saviour, so cruelly treated. Christ speaks. Behold my other self, the poorest king who ever lived. Before my creatures I stand stripped, the cross, my deathbed, even this is not my own. Yet who has ever been so rich? Possessing nothing, I own all my father's love. If you too would own everything, be not solicitous about your food, your clothes, your life. My Lord, I offer you my all, whatever I possess, and more, myself. Detach me from the craving for prestige, position, wealth. Root out of me all trace of envy of my neighbour, who has more than I. Release me from the vice of pride, my longing to exalt myself and lead me to the lowest place. May I be poor in spirit, Lord, so that I can be rich in you. Hail Mary, full, full of, of grace, grace, the Lord, the Lord is with thee. thee. Blessed, blessed art thou amongst women, women and, and blessed, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray, pray for, for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. The eleventh station. Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your holy, holy cross you, you have, have redeemed, redeemed the, the world. world. Consider Jesus thrown down upon the cross. He stretched out his arms and offered to his eternal Father the sacrifice of his life for our salvation. They nailed his hands and feet, and then, raising the cross, left him to die in anguish. Christ speaks. Can you imagine what a crucifixion is? My executioners stretch my arms. They hold my hand and wrist against the wood, and press the nail until it stabs my flesh. Then... With one heavy hammer smash, they drive it through, and pain burst like a bomb of fire in my brain. They seize the other arm, and agony again explodes. Then raising up my knees, so that my feet are flat against the wood, they hammer them fast too. My God, I look at you and think, is my soul worth this much? What can I give you in return? I hear and now accept for all my life whatever sickness, torment, agony may come. To every cross I touch my lips. O blessed cross that lets me be with you a co-redeemer of humanity. Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 
The twelfth station, Jesus is crucified. We adore you, Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Christ speaks. The cross becomes a pulpit now. Forgive them, Father. You will be with me in paradise. There is your mother. There, your son, I thirst, it is complete. To speak I have to raise myself by pressing on my wrists and feet, and every move engulfs me in new waves of agony. And then, when I have borne enough, have emptied my humanity, I let my mortal life depart. My Jesus, God, what can I say or do? I offer you my death with all its pains. Accepting now the time and kind of death in store for me. Not by a single instant would I lengthen my life span. I offer you my death for my own sins and for those of all humanity. My God, my God. Forsake us not, we know not what we do. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The thirteenth station. Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your holy cross, cross you have redeemed, redeemed the, the world. world. Consider how, after our Lord had died, he was taken down from the cross by two of his disciples, Joseph and Nicodemus, and placed in the arms of his afflicted mother. She received him with unutterable tenderness and pressed him close to her bosom. Christ speaks. The sacrifice is done. Yes, my mass is complete, but not my mother's and not yours, my other self. My mother still must cradle in her arms, the lifeless body of the son she bore. You too must part from those you love, and grief will come to you. In your bereavements, think of this. A multitude of souls were saved by Mary's sharing in my Calvary. Your grief can also be the price of souls. I beg you, Lord, help me accept the partings that must come. From friends who go away, my children leaving home, and most of all, my dear ones, when you shall call them to yourself. Then give me grace to say, as it has pleased you, Lord, to take them home, I bow to your most holy will. And if by just one word I might restore their lives against your will, I would not speak. Grant them eternal joy. Hail Mary, full of grace, full of grace the Lord, the Lord, is, Lord with is with thee. Blessed, blessed are thou amongst women, women and, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
Pray for, for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The fourteenth station. Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you, you have, have redeemed, redeemed the, the world. world. Consider how the disciples carried the body of Jesus to its burial, while his holy mother went with them and arranged it in the sepulchre with her own hands. Then they closed the tomb, and all departed. Christ speaks. So ends my mortal life. But now another life begins for Mary, and for Magdalene, for Peter, and for John, and you. My life's work is done. My work within and through my church must now commence. I look to you, my other self, day in, day out, from this time forth, be my apostle, victim, saint. My Jesus Lord, you know my spirit is as willing as my flesh is weak. The teaching you could not impart, the sufferings you could not bear, the works of love you could not do in your short life on earth let me impart and bear and do through you but i am nothing lord help me glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was, as it was in, the in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and ever shall, shall be world without, without end. end amen, amen. 